Geological Formation of Gold and Types of Deposits Gold is one of the most valuable and fascinating metals on Earth, and its occurrence is closely tied to the geological processes that shape our planet. The formation of gold deposits is not random, it is the result of specific physical and chemical conditions that allow gold to become concentrated in certain areas of the Earth's crust. Understanding these processes is fundamental in geology, mining, and economic exploration. 1. Geological Formation of Gold Gold is primarily associated with magmatic and hydrothermal activities. In the deep crust and mantle, hot fluids rich in metals are generated during the cooling and crystallization of magma. These fluids, often carrying silica, sulfur, and a variety of metals, migrate upward through fractures and fault zones. When the conditions are right, such as a sudden drop in temperature, pressure, or changes in chemical environment, gold precipitates out of the fluid and becomes concentrated in host rocks. Magmatic processes, in some cases, gold is directly related to magmatic intrusions, where the slow cooling of magma chambers allows gold-bearing minerals to crystallize. Hydrothermal processes, the majority of significant gold deposits form through hydrothermal fluids. These hot, metal-rich waters circulate through cracks in the Earth's crust and deposit gold within veins, cavities, or disseminated in surrounding rocks. Metamorphic influence, in metamorphic belts, gold may also be remobilized and concentrated during tectonic activity, particularly in regions where old crustal rocks are subjected to heat and pressure. 2. Types of Gold Deposits Gold deposits can be broadly divided into primary, hard rock, and secondary, placer, deposits. Each type has unique characteristics and formation environments. A. Primary, load, deposits. These are deposits where gold remains close to its original source in bedrock. Examples include Vein, or load, deposits. Gold is found in quartz veins that cut through host rocks, often associated with sulfide minerals like pyrite and chalcopyrite. Porphyry deposits, large, low-grade deposits linked with intrusive igneous rocks. While primarily known for copper, porphyry systems often contain significant amounts of gold. Epithermal deposits, formed near the Earth's surface at relatively low temperatures, typically associated with volcanic regions. Orogenic gold deposits, found in metamorphic belts, especially along major fault zones, where deep-seated fluids have concentrated gold. B. Secondary, placer, deposits. Over millions of years, weathering and erosion break down primary gold deposits, releasing particles of gold into rivers and streams. Due to its high density, gold accumulates in specific areas where water velocity decreases. Alluvial placer deposits, found in riverbeds, floodplains, and stream sediments. Beach placers, concentrations along shorelines, where waves and currents separate heavy gold particles from lighter materials. Alluvial deposits, gold concentrated in soils and weathered material close to its source, usually on hill slopes. 3. Global Importance Different gold deposit types have played major roles in history. The great gold rushes, such as in California, Australia, and Klondike, were driven by placer deposits. Today, most of the world's gold production comes from large-scale mining of primary deposits, particularly orogenic and porphyry systems. Methods for Exploration and Exploration of Gold Deposits Exploring for gold is a complex, multi-stage process that combines geology, chemistry, physics, and technology. Since gold is a relatively rare element in the Earth's crust, identifying its occurrence requires both scientific understanding and systematic investigation. Exploration does not simply mean digging randomly, instead, it follows a series of methods designed to narrow down vast areas into specific targets with high potential for economic gold deposits. 1. Preliminary Research and Geological Mapping The first step in gold exploration is desktop studies and field reconnaissance. Geologists begin by reviewing existing geological maps, satellite imagery, and historical mining records to identify regions with favorable geology. Areas with known mineral belts, volcanic arcs, 
or metamorphic terrains are often prioritized. Geological mapping, on-site studies involve examining rock types, structures, and mineralization patterns. Faults, shear zones, and quartz veins are key indicators, as they often act as pathways for gold-bearing fluids. Remote sensing, satellite and aerial imagery can reveal alteration zones, lineaments, and other surface expressions of mineralization. 2. Geochemical exploration. Gold is rarely visible to the naked eye in early exploration, so geochemical techniques are essential. These methods analyze the chemical composition of rocks, soils, stream sediments, and sometimes even plants or water, to detect subtle traces of gold and associated pathfinder elements. Soil sampling, systematic collection of soil samples helps identify anomalies in gold and other elements such as arsenic, antimony, or mercury, which often occur with gold. Stream sediment sampling, rivers and streams naturally concentrate eroded particles from upstream sources, making them excellent tools for tracing gold back to its origin. Rock sampling, outcrops and float rocks are collected and analyzed for gold content, providing direct evidence of mineralization. 3. Geophysical Exploration Since gold itself is not magnetic or radioactive, indirect geophysical methods are often used to detect the geological structures and host rocks that may contain gold. Magnetic surveys, identify variations in magnetic minerals, which may indicate intrusions or faults associated with gold. Electromagnetic, AM, surveys, useful for mapping conductive sulfide bodies, which are often linked with gold deposits. Seismic and gravity surveys, help detect major structural features, such as faults and intrusive bodies, that can control gold mineralization. For, trenching, drilling, and subsurface investigations. Once surface studies suggest promising anomalies, more direct methods are employed to confirm the presence of gold. Trenching and pitting, excavating shallow trenches or pits to expose bedrock and test for visible mineralization. Core drilling, the most reliable method, drilling retrieves continuous cylinders of rock from deep underground. These cores are carefully logged, sampled, and analyzed in laboratories to determine gold grade and distribution. Reverse circulation, RC, drilling, a faster and more cost-effective technique, producing rock chips rather than solid cores, often used in early-stage testing. 5. Data Integration and Resource Estimation Exploration is not only about finding traces of gold but also determining whether the deposit is economically viable. 3D Geological Modeling, using software to combine geological, geochemical, and geophysical data to visualize or bodies. Grade Estimation determining the concentration of gold in ore and its distribution throughout the deposit. Feasibility studies, evaluating whether mining the deposit is technically possible and financially profitable. 6. The role of modern technology. Today, exploration benefits from advanced tools. GIS, Geographic Information Systems for Integrating Large Datasets and Spatial Analysis. Drone Surveys, provide high-resolution aerial imagery and mapping in difficult terrains. Portable XRF analyzers, allow rapid, on-site chemical analysis of rocks and soils. Conclusion Exploring for gold is a scientific journey that begins with broad regional studies and narrows down to precise drilling targets. Each method, geological, geochemical, geophysical, and technological, plays a role in uncovering hidden gold deposits. The combination of these techniques has led to the discovery of some of the world's largest and most important gold mines, shaping both local economies and global markets. Economic and Environmental Importance of Gold Deposits Gold has shaped human history for thousands of years. From ancient civilizations to modern economies, gold has been more than just a precious metal, it has been a symbol of wealth, power, and stability. The study and exploitation of gold deposits today play a dual role, they provide enormous economic benefits but also raise serious environmental and social challenges. 1. Economic Importance of Gold Deposits A Global Financial Role Gold has been used as money, 
a standard for currency systems, and a store of value for centuries. Even in today's digital economy, gold continues to act as a safe haven asset. During times of inflation, political instability, or financial crisis, investors turn to gold to protect their wealth. Central banks hold large gold reserves as part of their monetary policy. Gold prices influence global markets and are a benchmark for economic stability. The metal is traded worldwide, making it a vital part of international commerce. b. Industrial and technological uses While jewelry remains the largest consumer of gold, modern industries rely on its unique physical properties. Electronics Gold is an excellent conductor of electricity and resistant to corrosion, making it essential in connectors, circuits, and microchips. Medicine, used in dentistry, cancer treatment, and biomedical devices due to its biocompatibility. Space and technology, gold coatings are used in satellites, spacecraft, and advanced optical instruments because of their reflectivity and resistance to radiation. C. Contribution to local and national economies. Gold mining creates jobs, infrastructure, and economic development in many regions. In countries such as South Africa, Australia, China, and Peru, gold is a cornerstone of the mining industry. Mining projects can transform rural regions into centers of economic activity. Revenues from gold exports support national budgets. Local businesses benefit from increased demand for services and supplies. 2. Environmental importance and challenges. Despite its economic value, gold mining often comes at a high environmental cost. Because gold is rare, it usually exists in very low concentrations in ore, meaning vast amounts of rock must be processed to extract small amounts of gold. A. Environmental impacts of gold mining. Deforestation and habitat loss. Large scale mining often clears vast areas of land destroying ecosystems. Water pollution, cyanide and mercury are frequently used in gold extraction. When improperly managed, these chemicals contaminate rivers and groundwater, affecting both wildlife and human communities. Soil degradation and erosion, open pit mining strips away fertile soil, leaving behind barren landscapes. Waste generation, gold mining produces tailings and waste rock, which can remain toxic for decades. B. Climate and energy concerns. Gold mining is energy intensive. Heavy machinery, or processing plants, and transportation consume vast amounts of fuel and electricity, contributing to carbon emissions. C. Social and cultural impacts. Indigenous communities are sometimes displaced by mining projects. Conflicts over land ownership and resource distribution can arise. In some regions, Illegal or artisanal gold mining causes uncontrolled environmental damage and unsafe working conditions. 3. Toward sustainable gold mining. To balance economic benefits with environmental protection, the mining industry is adopting more sustainable practices. Recycling. Increasing use of recycled gold from electronics and old jewelry reduces the pressure on natural deposits. Cleaner extraction methods. Advances in technology aim to minimize or replace toxic chemicals like mercury and cyanide. Mine rehabilitation, companies are now required to restore ecosystems, replant forests, and safely manage waste after mining operations. Responsible certification, programs such as Fair Trade Gold and Responsible Gold Mining Principles encourage ethical sourcing and environmentally conscious practices. Conclusion the economic and environmental importance of gold deposits cannot be separated, they represent two sides of the same coin. On one hand, gold fuels global markets, drives industrial progress, and supports millions of livelihoods. On the other, gold mining threatens ecosystems, pollutes water sources, and challenges sustainable development. The future of gold depends on finding a careful balance between harnessing its value and protecting the earth for future generations.